Now, raise your hand if you are excited and giddy as me that Manchester United season 22-23 has been amazing under Eric Ten Hag. Nothing that we did expect because we've been far depressed watching the sheer shit football that Manchester United has produced for the past six years at least. Not even winning one single trophy until Papa Eric came into the helms and we actually won that Energy Cup trophy which is absolutely amazing amazing achievement but there's one thing clear and obvious that we all see including Eric Ten Hag and pundits and media is that we need that killer to finish off that chicken dinner you know what I mean not really chicken dinner but we need a killer to finish off the dinner barring that Marcus Rashford is our leading goal scorer you know fair play Marcus Rashford it's been amazing 28 goals in all competition for Marcus Rashford but what happens if Marcus Rashford is injured like the other day when he limped off the against Everton with a groin injury who are we gonna fall back to of course we got Wood Weghurst Wood Weghurst has scored one goal in all competitions that hasn't really worked out when Scott McTominay is actually <laughs> a more leading striker than Wood Weghurst then you have a problem then we have Anthony Martial, which has been frustrating because he hasn't hardly seen the daylight of this season. And we know that Eric Ten Hag really, really likes Anthony Martial, and so do I, because Martial offers something really, really different. Other than that, we don't have anything. So isn't it clear and obvious that we will need huge spendings in the summer to go after that killer with a killer instinct to finish off all these chances? Just look at the Everton game. We had a Prem record in the first half, 21 shots on targets. How many did we convert? Hmm, two. But if we had that killer in the box, the killer instinct, we could have at least finished off with a 6-0. 6-0 people, let that sink in. So what's coming out in the transfer market media today, it's British spin as usual, that Harry Kane, that Harry Kane saga who has one year on his left on his contract he's 30 years of age and Daniel Levy saying in the press wide open I will not let Harry Kane go for less than 100 million if he doesn't sign a new contract that is sheer extortion and robbery right because he knows that a lot of clubs are looking for a striker a lot of clubs that are having like Manchester United they will have a lot of those will go after and inquire by Harry. Is it worth it? You got one year left on your contract. You're 30 years of age and you are not a world-class striker because you haven't won anything. I can debate, I can debate about this, but Harry, Mc... I almost called you Harry McCain, <laughs> which is Harry Maguire. I, I'm afraid there will be another Maguire saga and I don't want that on the club, right? I am looking for more of long-term jeopardy and I'm talking about if you're going to pay 100 million you might as well go all the way to Turin put 100 million on, on the table to Napoli and say Victor Osman welcome to Manchester United you're 24 years of age you back 28 goals in all competition you're simple amazing and you fit into Eric Ten Hag's system it's a modern striker it's a game changer can grab the game by the scruff of the neck and finish off your dinner Comparing to Harry Kane, frustrating as it is, he can drift off, he does a few good caps in England, but is he the uh, answer that Manchester United are looking for? According to my opinion, not. But, having to say that, it is up to you to decide as a viewer. Drop a comment in this links below. Hit the like, share button, and let's bring in the panel. Let us have a debate. Harry Kane or Victor Osman. Has the Premier League ever been more challenging? Like well, I feel welcome. Uh, this is my home and I want to achieve success. Okay? <laughs>